Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about a drug Mbiximab. Before starting this, I would uh, request you to subscribe to our channel and uh, please tell your friends to subscribe. Here I'm going to discuss briefly about the drugs and only important points that will help you for your USMLE examination. So my aim is you should score uh, 99 percentile on your USMLE step 1, step 2 and step 3. Ok guys, let me start with this. Uh, it's a glycoprotein uh, 2 B 3 A receptor antagonist. Ok, antagonist. So as you know this is a important drug and you should also know the what do you call uh, uh, the important uh, side effects of this drug. So it's a platelet aggregation inhibitor mainly used during after and after coronary artery procedures like angioplasty to prevent platelet from sticking together and causing thrombus formation with uh, coronary artery. It is a glycoprotein 2B3A inhibitor. Okay. Uh, Ambiximab is indicated for the use of individuals undergoing percutaneous coronary intervention. Um, uh, the use of Ambiximab is in this setting is associated with uh, decreased incidence of ischemic complications due to the procedure and decreased need for repeated coronary artery revascularization in the first month following the procedure. Uh, research also shown shows that this drug can be used for patients with the diabetes and the chronic renal insufficiency. It is not appropriate drug of choice if a patient is scheduled for an emergency surgery that is a heart surgery because bleeding time may take up about 12 hours to normalize. So remember this is very important point for USMLE step 1 uh, even for a step 2 CK and a step 3. Ambiximab has a plasma half-life of about 10 minutes with a second uh, phase half-life of about 30 minutes. However, its effect on the platelet function can be seen for up to 48 hours after infusion has been terminated and low levels of glycoprotein 2B3 receptor blockade are present for up to 15 days after infusion is terminated. Ambiximab does not require renal dose adjustment. The side effects, many of these side effects of Mbiximabs are due to antiplatelet effects. This includes increased risk of bleeding. The most, because it's a platelet aggravation inhibitor, right? So that's why the, it, there's increased risk of bleeding. The most common type of bleeding uh, due to Mbiximab is gastrointestinal hemorrhage. So remember this. So this is very important. So bleeding can occur at, uh, can be any side, but the important thing is uh, um, what do you call uh, GI, okay? So thrombocyto Penia is a rare but known risk, known serious risk. Ambiximab induced thrombocytopenia can typically be treated with a transfusion of the platelets. Ambiximab induced thrombocytopenia can last for seven days after initial drug administration. Uh, transfusing the platelets is the only known treatment and may have limited effectiveness as the drug may also bind to the new platelets. Platelet count, which should average to uh, 50,000 uh, 50, to 400,000 uh, can effectively drop to zero. Okay, guys. So these are the important points about uh, MBXC map. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. Take care. See you soon in the next video with me on um, USMLE team.